you and Dad do the soup, and Emmy and I can do the cupcakes. Four is not a crowd in the LASIK kitchen. For Mark and Susan LASIK, it's precious time with daughters Allie and Emmy. No, stop it. Stop As an entrepreneur, Mark, who holds a St. Thomas MBA, can fortunately find family time. It goes by way too fast to time with your kids. And time is what the LASIKs never got with their first daughter, Faith. She'll always be part of our family. She'll always be present in our house. She's not here physically, but we always want to have spiritual remi reminders of her. Faith had died at full term. We had to deliver her as you would deliver a live child. And uh, all that anticipation, all of that hope, all of the dreams you had for that little girl. Gone. But outside Siren, Wisconsin, that little girl's name lives on in Faith's Lodge. The Eagle's Nest. Rising above their tragic loss, the Lasics created a retreat for others that opened in 2007. And then we have Face Lake right here. A place of hope and healing for those who've lost a child or have a seriously ill child. We did not ever want her time on earth to be in vain. Faith's impact is helping families find their footing. Whoa. Families like Asher Wheeler's. <laughs> if laughter is truly medicine, it's also evidence of healing after huge loss. Rivers, my brother, and he was born um, when he was a baby, like gentle, and though. then he died. Everything that is done in this world is done by hope. Ben and Deanna Wheeler lost their son, River. Words to live by. After just six days. There's a lot more rocks here than there were six years ago when we came the first time. Faith's Lodge became their rock for remembrance and recovery. It's the place. It really yeah. is. It is a miracle and a blessing. Because you can feel it right when you walk through the doors. There is nothing uncomfortable about Faith's Lodge. That comfort sticks with families even away from the lodge. Katie and Jason Butler say Faith's Lodge helped them laugh again. It's a refuge, and we were refugees looking for a new way to live. Their son Henry lived just 14 hours. At Faith's Lodge, they found shared experiences. It's like you can finally breathe. Rather than trying to hold your breath and run through the days, figuring out how am I going to interact with people who have no idea. That's probably the constant thread that runs through uh, the comments and feedback we receive, is that this is a place where I can go, where I'm not judged, where people aren't uncomfortable. Happy birthday, dear Asher. Comfortable enough to celebrate life, to move forward. At Faith's Lodge, spirits are uplifted. Four, five. Yay! Just a magical, overwhelming feeling. You felt the presence that River was going to get one of those balloons. Hope because of the Lasix. I didn't do this. This was done by hundreds of people. Our friends, our family, in fact, most of the credit here, this should be my wife up here, not me. More than 2,000 families have felt the touch of Faith's Lodge. What better way to improve the welfare of others? I think there's a lot of people, not just in Wisconsin, Minnesota, but across the country and even internationally, whose lives Faith has touched. And uh, I don't see that ending anytime soon.